Welcome to another episode of Gospel Impact. My name is Stephanie Singer, and today's story comes to us from the island of Samar in the Philippines. It was a bright, balmy Sabbath morning as Zaldi strolled over to church. She was used to seeing children wandering the streets of the little coastal town, but this one 14-year-old boy especially caught her attention. Her first impulse was to just keep walking, but as she went by, the tug of the Holy Spirit was too hard for her to resist. She turned around, greeted the boy, and asked, Can you join us in our worship this Sabbath day? Yes, the boy answered immediately, and he joined Zaldi as she walked to the church. He not only joined in the worship, but later that day he started telling Zaldi about his life. Junior had lived his whole life in the same little town in eastern Samar of the Philippines. His father, who had been known for heavy drinking, was stabbed to death when Junior was only five years old. His mother, was left with the burden of caring for six children while also earning money to give them an education. She had mustered enough finances to get Junior through elementary school, but there was no chance of him going to high school. For two years, Junior was unable to continue his education. His idleness during this time led him to a dangerous direction. He started spending time with rough peers who roamed the back streets of their jungle town. He began caving in to the temptation to join them in their drinking and smoking. In the midst of all the booze and the trips, Junior's dreams of a better life slowly began to fade. His relationship with his mother also began to fall apart as he slipped farther and farther into drugs and alcohol. But when he joined the group of young Christians that morning, the worship struck a chord deep in his heart. Zaldi was overjoyed when he said, I want to be with you again next Sabbath. As Junior continued coming back each Sabbath, everyone could see that he sincerely wanted to find a new life that was free from all the ugly habits that he had learned earlier. Zaldi introduced him to the lowly carpenter who had also lived in dismal surroundings as a young man in Nazareth. As he read through the Gospels with Zaldi, Junior realized that he could get the victory over his painful past by trusting in Christ. After three months of Bible study, Junior was baptized on November 12, 2011. His mother cried tears of joy. Junior is still pushing forward with Jesus by his side. He's back in high school and has hopes of entering college someday. But he is determined to keep his dreams firmly centered on God's will. His plans to pass on the wonderful news of God's love as many of his fellow Native people as he can. To learn more about the work at Gospel Outreach, or find out how you can support it, check out our website at www.goaim.org or give us a call at 509-525-2951.